Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily send SQL query results to Datadog as metrics using a tool called Animometer. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Charlie Jones and I'm a senior data engineer at Simplify. I've been working with data for over 15 years now, with a strong focus on big data in the last six years. These days, I spend most of my time trying to improve the reliability and scalability of our systems at Simplify. Let's get into the background of the problem I was trying to solve when I wrote Animometer. We were early adopters of Airflow, and when we were initially standing it up, we ran into some problems with tasks becoming queued and never actually running. This isn't an Airflow talk, so I won't go into great detail about the underlying issues, but we eventually discovered the root cause was in our own configuration and had little to do with Airflow itself. Airflow is a great product and you should absolutely be using it. The quickest and easiest way we could think of to detect this problem was to query the Airflow database directly, grab the current state of each task, and push that to Datadog. At the time, Airflow didn't publish these types of metrics to StatsD, so we had to handle this ourselves. Since we were already making use of Airflow for scheduling other workflows, we went ahead and added a task to handle this for us. You might have already seen this coming, but this was problematic. We were trying to monitor Airflow scheduling by using Airflow Scheduler. When, we, when our monitoring task got stuck, we were once again flying blind. We needed to have a way in which we could monitor Airflow without it depending on Airflow itself. I decided to write a small Go application to run outside of Airflow and monitor the state of tasks. Animometer started out as a quick and dirty way to add some monitoring around our Airflow cluster. But I quickly realized that it could be far more useful as a generic tool that could convert any query to Datadog metrics. So what exactly is Animometer? Animometer runs a SQL query for you, transforms the results of the query into Datadog metrics, and then pushes the metrics to Datadog. Animometer currently supports Postgres and Vertica, but support for other databases is very straightforward to add. You can see the readme in the GitHub repo for more details. We welcome issues and PRs for adding your database of choice. Getting Animometer running is really straightforward as I'll demonstrate now. Download the latest release for your platform from GitHub and extract the binary. And that's it, you're ready to use Animometer. Let's take a look at a basic Animometer configuration file. Let's say we wanted to send the number of users from our application to Datadog. This example configuration would connect to the database every 300 seconds execute the query, and push the value to the Datadog metric myapp.users. Let's dig into this configuration a bit further. The first section of our config tells Animometer how to work with StatsD. In our case, we're using dog StatsD, so we just point it to localhost on port 8125. This will likely be the case for you as well. The monitor section is where you will define the things you want to monitor. Name is used to give your monitor a human readable name. This is primarily used for logging output. The database section is where you specify the type and URI of your database. This is how Animometer will connect to execute your query. Sleep duration is how long Animometer will sleep in seconds between query executions for this monitor. Metric is where you set the name for the Datadog metric. This is what will show up in your Datadog dashboards, so give it a good, meaningful name. Finally, SQL is where you write the SQL that will be run to generate your metrics. In this case, we're just counting up the number of rows in the users table. Let's dig into how Animometer handles the results of your queries. It's important to note, for Animometer to understand the results of your query, they must conform to the following guidelines. One and only one column should be named metric. The metric column should be a number convertible to float 64. And all other columns will be converted to tags. This example query shows you how you can add tags to your user count metric by simply adding a column to your results. You can see in the highlighted sections how the columns map to tags. Here you can see that Animometer will push metrics for every row returned by your query. 
This can be useful when you want to tag for each item in your grouping. Now that we've got a basic configuration, let's use it to start Animometer and push the metrics to Datadog. To start Animometer, you simply call the start command along with your path to the configuration file. Note, in a production deployment, I would suggest running Animometer under systemd. As you can see here, the metrics have been published to Datadog and they continue to update as I add more users. Animometer has turned out to be a pretty useful tool for us when we need to generate metrics from SQL. I hope that you will give it a try if you find yourself wishing you could just write some SQL to publish metrics. Thank you for checking out this talk. Feel free to reach out to me if you have questions, and contributions to Animometer are always welcome.